I want to get one of them. Okay. That's pretty cool, can, actually. Can you help him out Thank with you. an outfit? Absolutely. Absolutely. I got just your Thank size. You. Mr. President, I start the night, start the afternoon off. My name is Bob. I'm a retired uh, union worker from Hazleton on a fixed income. Many Americans in my position struggle to make ends meet. Will you commit to helping protect Social Security and Medicare benefits? A great question. The answer is yes. And, you know, when you say fixed income, because of Biden and Kamala, nobody knows her as Harris. You know, I can't use the word Harris. And by the way, it's her 60th birthday, so I want to wish her a happy 60th birthday. Right? No? No, happy birthday. And many more, and I mean it, so, you know, I do mean it, actually. Um, I'm just looking at this gentleman. You don't look like you're retired to me. You look like you're in the prime. You could be if you wanted to be, right? Huh? You're doing I'm great. Look at the size of the arms of this guy. I don't know. <laughs> He looks, he looks pretty healthy. So uh, people on fixed income have been decimated by the Biden and, uh, and Harris uh, regime. This has been horrible what's happened to them because we have, I think in history, I think in the greatest in history, they say, no, it's 48 years. But I think we had the greatest inflation just about uh, in the history of our country. They don't include everything. They don't include interest rates going from 2% to 10, but you can't get the money at 10, so therefore it's much higher. But people, the people that are hurt the most are people on fixed income, like Bob. And uh, we're going to do a lot of things. For one thing, no tax on, you know, on Social Security benefits for seniors. Are you getting Social Security? You don't look, you're, what is your, what is your age? 57. You, you look a lot younger than that. I'm Doesn't he look handsome? He's... He's a much better looking guy than I am, and look at him. You look good, and you have a good family, great family? I've got a great family. That's great. So you were hurt, though, because of the inflation. I mean, people were hurt because of the inflation, and especially the people that are in fixed income. And here's what we're doing. Number one, no tax on Social Security for, you know, for our seniors. That's a big deal. No tax on tips also, as you know, and no tax for... For all different groups we're covering, right? And no tax on overtime. So if you work overtime... Ooh. Ooh. That's been the big sleeper. And you know another good one? I think something that's going to be really good is you can fully deduct your interest payments when you buy a car. We never did that. And a Wall Street... Bob, a Wall Street genius called me up. He said, whose idea was that? It sounds pretty simple, right? But we've never done that. So you buy a car, you're going to be able to fully deduct your interest payment. That's a big deal. So you go out and buy a car. So we're going to do that for you. Also, we're going to, that's a big thing. Uh, also, very importantly, we're just going to make the economy better. Do you, do you plan on working a little bit in terms of part-time jobs or any of yeah. that? Yes, sir, I still do. But one of the biggest things we're going to do is the economy is going to get good. But we have more liquid gold. You know, this is what caused the inflation. They blew. We had the best. We were... Energy independent, first time, I think, ever. We're energy independent, and now we, we're getting oil from Venezuela. We're getting tar from Venezuela because it comes out as tar. We have to heat the hell out of it. And it's done. There's only one place in the whole world that can do it, and that's in Houston, Texas. So for the environmental people, that stuff is going up in smoke in our territory, and we have the best, cleanest, uh, the most oil and gas of any country in the world, including Saudi Arabia, including, including Russia, Saudi Arabia, all of them. And we're going to be using it. But here's the thing. We will get your energy bill, everybody in the audience, including businesses, down by 50, 50 percent from one year from when we take office. And when that happens, everything else is going to follow. You know? So, Sage, it, it, was, it was energy that caused, Bob, it was energy that caused the problem. And uh, it's going to be energy that leads us back into the promised land. The energy went up, and also they're spending, they're stupid spending. They spent money on the Green News scam at levels that nobody's ever seen before. They just, like, thrown, they could have thrown it out the window. It would have been fine. So, uh, and thank you for doing this. This is great to have you. I've seen so many great stories about this woman. She's a brave woman, a great woman. Beautiful, too, but I'm not allowed to say that. That could be the end of your political... You know, if you say that a woman is beautiful today, don't be a politician. It is the end of your political career. But she's beautiful. So thank you for doing this. Thank you.
boy, 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 boy. Didn't y'all love to hear that, man? What do y'all think of that, man? Comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button so that more people can see this video. And subscribe to the channel if you're new here. But I want to talk to you guys a little more and uh, show you some more clips um, on this. And it's huge, you know. Um, there are millions of people right now just trying to get by, struggling, you know. And Trump is coming out with some heavy hitters, man. And it, it's, it's clear. It's straightforward. You know, he's actually out there. He's answering your questions. He's not ducking, dodging, and hiding. The leadership is completely different, man, than that Harris Walls ticket. You know, and she even came on and, you know, and CNN love, you know, having this out. You know, it's just it's just crap with the fake news, man. And, and how, you know, they they love this lady, even though she can't she can't get out a sentence. She can't answer a question. You know, and even some of the, you know, the host and anchors have have flipped the script and said, you know, she's not doing what she needs to do. It's not looking good. And they're right. It's not looking good for her with 15 days out, man. It is not looking good, man. But I want y'all to take this clip out right here, you know, and she knows that Trump has the edge. Uh, the other issue that has come up recently uh, has been the issue of what we are um, seeing again about Donald Trump just being frankly hostile to the whole notion and importance of Social Security. Uh, there are many seniors in our country that Social Security is their only form of income. And now an independent agency has reviewed Donald Trump's theory about Social Security and his policies and has indicated that his policy would actually render the Social Security fund um, empty, essentially, um, in six years. Again, if you look at it from minimum wage to Social Security, Donald Trump clearly does not understand the needs of working people with Social Security be, being rendered insolvent in six years. What that would mean for the seniors of America is catastrophic. Now, what does that sound like to y'all? I'll give you a second. What does that sound like to y'all? Exactly. This lady's a puppet, man. She's incompetent, you know. And again, um, this is how she's ran her 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 entire campaign, you know. And you could just see it, 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 you can see in her body language. Just look, look at her body language, man. And now an independent would actually render the Social Security fund. And I'm, I don't even want to. It hurts to, to, to continue to, to, to even just hear her talk, you know. And I tell you, the Democrats should be ashamed of themselves, man. But this is what you get. This is what you get right here. When you don't do, do things the legit way. Constitution. I mean, I look, not a primary. Zero votes. Most unpopular, worst approval rating, but we allowed the media, the corrupt media, to build a candidate. Yeah. We've allowed the corrupt media to build a candidate. And now after admitting that she's Joe Biden 2.0, she wants a promotion. Yeah. She wants a promotion, man. Unbelievable, you guys, you know, but it has to be too big to rig because like I tell y'all, man, everybody knows, everybody sees and they know how corrupt this thing is, man. We are not against the candidate. We are against a corrupt machine. It has to be too big to rig. So I tell you guys, go out and vote. We're going to play this ad. Though. Let's check this one out. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes, while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums, and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Beautiful ad, but again, um, as y'all seen, man, they've all they all you all we've seen is them try to spin Trump's words to spin everything to, to demon out to make him like such a bad human being. And we go back to this, this, um, 
you know this this this, this um town hall from the, this voter um that's on um you know fixed income and um 57 years old i believe his name was bob you know i mean that's when i, I lost my dad last year he was 57 and all he all he bragged about was his pension his social security and being able to retire he had two years left that's all he bragged about man all he bragged about so i had I, I had to make a video on this you guys you know because there are tons of people watching right now that are you know we're all living in the same corrupt scam of a matrix man and this is a very very important topic man because as i'm recording right now there are millions and millions of people struggling to get by people that are dying right now as i'm recording this video struggling and they're going to continue to wipe this man through the mud because he wants to put we the people first hard working tax paying citizens first man but i absolutely loved this uh this segment right here you guys and uh that's one reason i'm going to show it to you one more time but just love how he how he answered the question, how he responds, how he talks to people, how this, how he actually cares, you know, but they don't want you to, 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 to see this side of this man. They do not want you to see this side of this man. This is why I tell you guys to share these videos, to keep reposting and us content creators, independent media, we're doing such an amazing job, man. Destroying the evil, corrupt rhetoric, man. We're, we're, we're doing such an amazing job, y'all. And we have woken up so many people this year. Because they see who Trump really is, man. He actually cares. And just look how he made this, 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 this voter comfortable. You know, this could be your father. Your grandpa. You know, young though, 57 years old. Again, like I told y'all, 57 years old. That's how old my dad was when he died. And my dad died on the way to work last year. On the way to work. A lot of y'all know the story. A lot of y'all know I had to clean up his blood with my own two hands out of our childhood truck. 57 is young, man. And I tell you guys, take care of yourself. I know we're all working hard, man. But in times like this, it's, sometimes it's, 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 it's hard to take care of yourself in, in these times, man. People working two to three jobs, overtime, sick and tired, man. And you got incompetent people in leadership positions. But I want to send you guys, again, my love and prayers, man, to anybody that's struggling right now. I can't tell you how many people we've helped out donated to you know it is so much and there's still people that i still need to um check up on and send my my, my donations to as well i see the emails the dms there's going to be a lot of you guys that we're going to be reaching back out to and sending you some blessings um as we're on the final stretch of this campaign man but i want to show y'all this clip again uh, and, and just look how, how how trump handles this man and this is why the media is going to continue to twist and spin things. Because they know this man cares. They don't want somebody that, that wants to put America first. That wants to put we the people first, man. And this is why it has to be too big to rig. They know he has his money, his foot in the money supply. They know he wants no wars. They hate that he's talking about the border. It's corrupt, man. And there's some other things I want to say on this video, but they might take my video down. I'll be real with you. But just look how he handles this man again. One of them. Okay. That's pretty cool, can, actually. Can you help him out Thank with you. an outfit? Absolutely. Absolutely. I got just your Thank size. You. Mr. President, I start the night, start the afternoon off. My name is Bob. I'm a retired uh, union worker from Hazleton on a fixed income. 
Many Americans in my position struggle to make ends meet. Will you commit to helping protect Social Security and Medicare benefits? A great question. The answer is yes. And, you know, when you say fixed income, because of Biden and Kamala, nobody knows her as Harris. You know, I can't use the word Harris. And by the way, it's her 60th birthday, so I want to wish her a happy 60th birthday. Right? No? No, happy birthday. And many more, and I mean it, so, you know. He actually meant that, man. They might have booed, but he actually meant that. He really did mean that. And he even said it in the McDonald's drive through I'm not trying to be funny. You know? As nasty as he might, he might comes off as sometimes, the man actually has a heart. The man actually cares and loves one another. You know? And everybody used to love this man. And then everybody turned against him. The media turned against him. And when the media turns against you, it follows. When the media turns against you, the majority follows. Oh, I do mean it, actually. Um, I'm just looking at this gentleman. You don't look like you're retired to me. You look like you're in the prime. You could be if you wanted to be, right? Huh? You're doing I'm great. Look at the size of the arms of this guy. I don't know. <laughs> he, looks, he looks pretty healthy. So uh, people on fixed income have been decimated by the Biden and, uh, and Harris uh, regime. This has been horrible what's happened to him because we have, I think in history, I think in the greatest in history, they say, no, it's 48 years. But I think we had the greatest inflation just about uh, in the history of our country. They don't include everything. They don't include interest rates going from 2% to 10, but you can't get the money at 10, so therefore it's much higher. But people, the people that are hurt the most are people on fixed income like Bob, and uh, we're going to do a lot of things. For one thing, no tax on, you know, on Social Security benefits for seniors. Are you getting Social Security? You don't look, you're, what is, your, what is your age? 57. You, you look a lot younger than that. I'm Doesn't he look handsome? He's, he's a much better looking guy than I am, and look at him. You look good, and you have a good family, great family? I've got a great family. That's great. So you are... See? Someone who actually cares, man. I love how Trump went about this, man. And he, all, he does this with everybody. With everybody, man. You know? He makes the altercation bigger than, than, than the simple question, man. He shows that he actually cares. And that when we get in there, we're going to turn this thing around. He actually gives people hope. And he did it in his first term. If he was going to destroy America, he would have did it in his first term. It's, it's as simple as that, man. If he was going to destroy America, he would have did it in his first term. People were hurt, though, because of the inflation. I mean, people were hurt because of the inflation, and especially the people that are in fixed income. And here's what we're doing. Number one, no tax on Social Security for, you know, for our seniors. That's a big deal. No tax on tips also, as you know. And no tax for, for all different groups we're covering, right? And no tax on overtime. So if you work overtime, ooh. Ooh. that's been the big sleeper. And you know another good one? I think something that's going to be really good is you, you can fully deduct your interest payments when you buy a car. We never did that. That is huge. That is huge. And a Wall Street, Bob, a Wall Street genius called me up. He said, whose idea was that? It sounds pretty simple, right? But we've never done that. So you buy a car, you're going to be able to fully deduct your interest payment. That's a big deal. So you go out and buy a car. So we're going to do that for you. Also, we're going to, that's a big thing. Uh, also, very importantly, we're just going to make the economy better. Do you, do you plan on working a little bit in terms of part-time jobs or any of yeah, that? Yes, sir, I still do. But one of the biggest things we're going to do is the economy is going to get good, but we have more liquid gold. You know, this is what caused the inflation. They blew. We had the best. We were energy independent. First time, I think, ever. We're energy independent, and now we, we're getting oil from Venezuela. We're getting tar from Venezuela because it comes out as tar. We have to heat the hell out of it. And it's done. There's only one place in the whole world that can do it. Where I live. <laughs> 
a good old Houston, Texas. Shout out to my historians. Yes, indeed, man. Born and raised, Houston, Texas, y'all. Missouri City. And that's in Houston, Texas. So for the environmental people, that stuff is going up in smoke in our territory. And we have the best, cleanest, uh, the most oil and gas of any country in the world, including Saudi Arabia, including, including Russia, Saudi Arabia, all of them. And we're going to be using it. But here's the thing. We will get your energy bill, everybody in the audience, including businesses, down by 50, 50 percent from one year from when we take office. And when that happens, everything else is going to follow. You know, so Sage, it, it was it was energy that caused Bob, it was energy that caused the problem. And uh, it's going to be energy that leads us back into the promised land. The energy went up and also they're spending their stupid spending. They spent money on the Green News scam at levels that nobody's ever seen before. They just like thrown it. They could have thrown it out the window. It would have been fine. So uh, and, and everything he's mentioning they're now they're trying to backtrack on. As you can see with the left, they're trying to backtrack on, man. Again, Trump has been right. And, and they hate it. They hate it, man. And this is why he's a threat to democracy. He's exposing their, the, you know, the corrupt political world. And he's, he's, he's exposing it. And this is why they don't even, they're, they're panicking and shaking out their shoes right now that this man is still alive and that he's not in prison. And this is why I got to be too big to rig, you guys. Go out and vote. And I wanted to send you guys my love and prayers once again, man, before we get out of here. Um, such an amazing video. Please share this video. And we're going to keep it real, man. Millions and millions of people are, are struggling right now, are dying, you know. And we're wishing the best in everybody's life. I don't care what you are. Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, blue, red. I don't care. I don't care what your age is. I don't care what your skin color is. One love to the human race, man. And this corrupt scam matrix and this fast time travel that we live in, man. Everybody should be able to live an amazing life in this fast time travel. And that's my opinion. You know? But I love y'all. Let me know what y'all think, man. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love.